What's your name? Silus. Silus. How do you spell that? S A I L U Z. A I L U Z. What's the origin of your name? It's actually my spiritual name. I'm from Honduras and I'm a Garifuna. I'm a mixture of Arawak, Indians, and West Africans. Cool, very cool. Okay. What's your name? My name is Mike. Mike. I'm from Mike. New Jersey, but I live in France and I have a language school there. And we try to interview people on the streets to bring real English into the classroom. Oh, okay, great. And this time we've been doing a little documentary of homeless people. So I want to ask you some questions about the homeless, okay? Um, do you often encounter homeless people in Miami? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Quite a few. In the Miami Beach area or South Beach here? Um, well, I've only been in the South Beach area, so I've encountered some in the South Beach area. I'm sorry, what's your first name again? Joanne. Joanne, how about yeah. you? Have you, met, have you met some homeless people here? Yeah, I've come across, um, across a few, actually, since I've been here. Um, you see them along the beach, uh, down along the streets, so, yeah, I guess uh, they are around. Why are some people homeless? I guess that comes down to personal, it's their own personal, uh, personal strengths, uh, whether they choose to be homeless, whether no one knows the situation, no one knows why they're homeless, uh, you can't really sort of judge them on why they're homeless because no one knows that exactly why they are there and what has happened to them in the past or, you know, or... Yeah, I guess what do you have to say? Do you have any... I would have to say, in, in my opinion, which is not paramount by any means, but in my opinion, I think it's a systemic issue and also a question of choices people make with their lives. So it's a combination of both. I think it's a combination. I don't think it's just one thing. I think it's, it's, it's a system problem. I think it's an issue with the way uh, resources are allocated. I think it's a question of the choices that people make. I think like over the last 50 years, we're making less money and working harder, and that's already documented. And it takes two, two incomes to run a household. You have, you know, so many people who are homeless. You have the single mothers out here. I mean, there's, there's just, I think the problem is very complex and there's, there's a, it, it's a big dynamic involved in it. I think it's political, I think it's systemic, and it's a question of how people make choices in their lives. And as a society in America, do you think we should do more about it or just leave them alone or what? I think, the issue of homelessness is all of our problems. I mean, some of us are check to check. You know, there's so many people that appear to, do, uh, to be doing well, but economically are as impoverished as someone that doesn't have a place to live. The difference is that they have a key, and some of them may not, you know, are concerned about keeping that key and keeping their homes on the average. I think the chasm between the haves and the have-nots is widening so much that even the middle class has become part of the poverty-stricken. Okay, I got it. Wow. Um, sums it up quite well. Yes. Sums it up quite well. Yes, I think she did. You're uh, very well spoken, and I thank you very much, both of you, for this very short interview. You're welcome. And I have to bother you to. Sh I have to bother you to sign a little form, or else I won't be able to use this. Sure, no problem. Sure.